<clears throat> thank you, Brian. Thank you, everybody, for being on. Yep. Um, I want to thank our staff at Workforce and Economic Development for putting this together. You'll be hearing from Brian Cummings a little bit. He's our Economic Development Program Manager. Um, and, um, you know, obviously, he You just yep, you just went on mute again. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's not me muting myself. So somebody else is muting me, <laughs> which okay. I think people want to do a lot. But, uh, yeah. So, um, but as I said, uh, thank you to the staff for... Um, for being here uh, and organizing all this. So the Build Business and Bucks grant uh, is designed to provide um, newer businesses, businesses that are only, you know, less than five years old or five years or less um, with some, some help, some guidance, connecting you to more established businesses to help you tackle maybe those one or two things that you're having, you know, just some trouble getting your, your arms around as you're, as you're doing something that, uh, uh, to you know, to to fulfill your dream and and you know put food on the table uh, and make this county better as well as you're making yourself better. Um, when uh, the three county commissioners really have made economic development uh, a priority since we came into office, um, we uh, hired people like Brian, put him in his position so that he can really help coordinate our approach to helping people develop uh, their businesses successfully. This grant is just one of the things that uh, that we hope will be helpful to you. Um, and, um, you know, certainly if if there are there are a lot of efforts we try to make through workforce and economic development through the career link partnerships with organizations like SCORE um, to really do our best to make this uh, a business friendly county. We know that most of the businesses in this county are small businesses like the ones that you uh, have have bravely started, and I say bravely because it's certainly not something I would even attempt to do. Uh, you know, I was a teacher for 26 years before I became uh, a commissioner. Uh, I never had any, you know, desire to start a business because I, I really wouldn't know where to start. And so I really uh, congratulate you and salute you on on what you're doing uh, to to kind of live out your dream and 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 use your skills in the way that you see fit. And uh, um, wish you all the best. And at this point, I will turn it over to Brian, and he will lead you through the program. Awesome. Thanks, Commissioner Harvey. I appreciate you jumping in today and providing some time. Um, so, uh, again, I'm, I am Brian Cummings. I'm the Program Manager for Economic Development for the County of Bucks. Um, we'll talk about the Build Business and Bucks grant today. Uh, but before we do so, I want to do some, some light housekeeping here for our team's meeting. Um, just know that the chat will be monitored. Um, if you could, please hold all questions till the end uh, after the, my presentation. Um, this presentation will be recorded and just a, a quick reminder to, to make sure you're on mute. And then for some of you, chat could be disabled depending on your IT or Internet provider. But just know at the end of the meeting, we'll, we'll provide everyone to come off, uh, you know, a chance to come off mute and then ask your question then. So if you're having difficulty in the chat, just know that at the end of the meeting, you'll have a chance to come off mute and ask your question. Uh, so great. So now we'll, we'll get into the details here of the grant. So the plan is um, I'll provide some of the information or or most of the information here for our Build Business and Bucks grant. Then what I'd like to do is review our, our draft application. So I'll review each application, the one for the businesses that are five years and younger, and then we'll jump over to the partner application as well. After I review the applications, then it'll be time for our Q&A and a chance for you all to, to come off mute if needed and provide some questions. All right. So a little bit for, for why, why are we doing this grant? And so this is a great, great way to build business businesses in Bucks. Um, it's a great way to provide a, a, a great business community, build that ecosystem that we're looking to do. And this, this will involve our upper county, central and, and lower county as well. So during the last two years, I've, as I've met with businesses, I met with hundreds of businesses in the last two years, and I'm receiving some consistent messaging. Um, they need businesses need to find a trustworthy partner for marketing, for HR consulting, and for fiscal consulting. They need this trusted partner to understand their current business needs and their future needs so they can help build their business. And ultimately, I want to help build and strengthen the Bucks County business community involving the Bucks County Chambers of Commerce, the business associations throughout Bucks County, and the networking groups. And uh, here's a, a brief snapshot of our timeline. Um, the application portal is scheduled to open July 1 and close July 31st. Communication for approval is scheduled for mid-August through early September. 
and then timeline for all work must be completed by November 30th. I will follow up with the partnering businesses for billing and invoicing the week of December 2nd. Reminder, each business can get reward or awarded up to 3,000 per business. Invoicing must be complete by 12-31-24. And so again, who, who are these businesses? Who's getting involved and who will be involved? For these, uh, what I call them younger businesses, five years and younger, there's up to 65 Bucks County-based businesses that have started July 1st, 2019 or after. These are veteran-owned, minority-owned, and women-owned businesses will receive this, this priority of service. Um, after that, this will be a first come, first serve um, for businesses. And um, we're highlighting or, or look to identify businesses that are 50 employees and under. Um, these are the businesses that were, will receive the services. You must complete the Build Business and Bucks application in full. Partially completed applications or applications that are missing any information um, will not be considered for this award. And so I also want to talk about the partnering businesses as well. These partnering businesses must have a physical Bucks County address. They need to come from the Chamber of Commerce, Business Association, or networking group based in Bucks County. And so, I, you know, I'm saying these things over and over again, but I really want to get a sense of I'm really trying to keep all of our, our assistance and all of our, our funds here um, in Bucks County based. Let's help our neighbors. Let's help our fellow businesses help build and grow. Um, these partnering businesses must provide a 300 word narrative why they should be selected as a partnering business. Uh, they must complete the business growth application in full. Again, partially completed applications or applications with missing information will not be considered for the award. Partnering businesses uh, will, will invoice for services provided up to 3,000 per, per award. Uh, you may work with more than one business simultaneously. So maybe your business uh, has been chosen to, to hold many businesses or a couple of businesses for HR needs or for fiscal consulting needs or marketing needs. That's, you, you will be able to do so. And partnering business information will be shared with businesses that have met the eligibility requirements and have been selected to move forward. So those that are completing the, the partner business application, just know that your um, information will be shared. The only uh, information that will not be shared, and, and you'll see it when, I'm, when I re review the, the application, your business uh, identification number, your EIN number will not be shared, nor will your W-9. That will also not be shared. But um, contact information will be shared as well as your narrative. And that's what I'm really looking to share is that narrative portion so businesses can get a good idea of who you are, what you do, and why you'd be a good partner. All right, let's move on. I'm going to share my screen now, and we're going to review the uh, business application portal. And just know that this is our, our draft portal. And I have, you know, I know we have our, our IT on the line as well. I assume everyone can see my screen. So this is the, the application where the business grows in bucks for these businesses that are five years and younger. And so it gives you that warning, please do not close the browser until the application is submitted. Your data will be lost. So um, once you go to fill out this application, I want to make sure that everyone understands if you if you um, close this browser, then everything you've entered will be lost and you'll have to start over from the beginning. It heads right into there, right into the eligibility. It's for profit businesses, five years and younger. The date was provided from July 1st, 2019, and moving forward. And these are based in Bucks County with 50 employees or fewer and established within the last five years. And again, the date is provided there. The business grows in Bucks. Recipients will need the following. Um, you, you'll need to provide your EIN number, the W-9, and there's a space to download. And I'll be able to show everyone um, where that's at as well and proof of business ownership. And again, I put the reminder in there for incomplete or, um, applications uh, will not be considered. And the reminders well about businesses that are they're partnering will be from a Chamber of Commerce Business Association or network group based in Bucks County. And then we get into the meat of the application, your business name, your business employer identification number, the business address, the business city, the business state, uh, the zip code, the municipality, uh, the primary owner name, 
the title of the primary owner and the, the primary owner email, as well as the phone number. If there's another email that you would like to include, you can include that there. And then you'll click the next button and you'll move on to section B. Section B will, well, then you have you choose which category you'd like to seek assistance, whether it's the accounting portion, the marketing portion, or the human resources portion for um, any of the consulting there. Uh, you'll then be able to please identify your industry that best describes your business, and that will provide a drop down where you'll be able to provide your, your, your industry there as well. The ask is then going to be uh, briefly describe your business. And if you see the, the zero slash, you know, 1,000, 1,000, that's not uh, words, that's characters. So you'll have up to 1,000 characters to briefly describe your business. And then we'll ask if your business is the minority owned, woman owned, or veteran owned business. It'll give you a toggle between yes and no. You'll then be able to uh, check all that apply, your veteran owned business, minority owned business, or woman owned business. And then you'll move on to the last section here, section C. This gives you the chance to up click below for the W-9 form and then attach the W-9 form. Please provide your business ownership. This could be um, a letter from the, your municipality or if you're working, you know, a letter through the state. This is a, provides you um, your proof of business ownership there. It gives you a reminder of all questions that must be answered fully. Then it gives you um, that again, any funds received must be used for the following. This is where you identify where you plan to use these funds. And then from there, um, we have our, our legal language. Um, no funds will be used for any purpose that violates federal law, state or local law, which includes but not limited to the production or sale of marijuana or marijuana, marijuana uh, derivative products. Our legal language continues. Um, and from there, you'll be able to sign, print, provide your title and date. And then our, then the acceptance policy um, and which uh, there's a box there as well. Uh, and then it gives you that reminder, please do not close this browser until the application is submitted. Your data will be lost. And then from there, after you've completed A, B and C, you will then have a chance to submit for those that partner, or I'm sorry, that business grows and bucks application for five years and younger. Next, I want to toggle over to the business grows and bucks partner application. And I'm assuming everyone can, can still see the screen. Um, so the partner application will start with, um, you'll let, please provide the, the name of the Chamber of Commerce, the business association or networking group you're a member of. And this is, gives you a chance to let you know, you know, let the, the, let us know where you're coming from, um, in regards to that Chamber of Commerce or business association or networking group. Again, you'll be able to find your, your first name, your last name. Your business name, the, the business address, the municipality where your business is located, the business state, business zip, and it's going to give you a toggle here to confirm that your business is located within Bucks County. The contact information will be um, included here and contact phone, the business EIN, and it, again, gives you a chance to um, get access to the W-9 form and instructions to complete and attach the W-9 form needed. The website address, if applicable, if you if you want to put your site address in there, so uh, we can see that where your address is located on the web, please feel free to include it. Uh, the category with which you plan to assist, um, marketing, HR, or fiscal. And then underneath that, again, 300 word narrative. And just a reminder, um, that 1950, that is a character limit. And underneath that, if you'd like to add another category, um, if your business also can assist with multiple um, categories, marketing, HR, and fiscal, you'll be able to do that as well. And you'll, you'll be able to include an additional 300 word narrative for each different category.
after that, um, we have our legal language as well. Um, it just gives examples of uh, some potential conflicts of interest, um, owning, co-owning, or participating in the day-to-day -day operations or finances of a small business that has or will be applying to receive the services you're offering to provide, or having a family member, spouse, partner, child, parent that owns a business who has, who has or will be applying to receive these funds you're offering to provide. And that's just the conflict of interest there. Again, you have your checkbox, and then you'll be able to submit so I, I'm going to stop sharing now. So I wanted to, to review um, just again, that partner application will be shared with that startup business or that business that's five years and younger. And all of that information will be shared, including your, your business name, your business address, and your business contact information. Um, I really think, or, or, you know, like I said, I've been meeting with hundreds of businesses the last couple of years. I think it's, this is a great opportunity for these businesses to find out and to find a trustworthy partner. That's why uh, I, we wanted to include the contact information. So before this grant starts, um, these businesses will have a chance to outreach and make sure a good partnership will be formed with good communication. So providing that information, including the narrative, including the website, including the email address and the phone number gives everyone a chance to communicate before deciding to partner. Okay. So those are the details and, and the applications that I wanted to provide today. Um, now it's a chance for all of you to, to, to ask a question or two. Um, Diana, if, do you have any questions in the chat? Nothing in the chat. Okay, great. If, if people have questions in, in, the, in the group here, um, I'm, I'm happy to answer. I see, saw it quickly, then it disappeared here. If you want to, maybe it's easier for you to come off, off mute and, and ask your question, and then I'll do the, again, I'll do the best I can to answer here. So, Brian, we do have two questions in the chat now. What is the criteria for the partners? So, the criteria, again, is coming from a chamber of commerce. So, you're, you're going to be a member of a chamber of commerce mem or member of a business association or member of a networking group based in Bucks County. Denise, does that help? I guess, sorry, I probably, I typed too quickly. Yeah. I guess from the categories, like you have HR, marketing, and fiscal, like fiscal, what does that encompass? Because that could be a so, lot. Or... Right, so there's so many questions that some of these startup businesses have, and I I, yeah. I left it broad for a reason because there's okay. so many issues that they have. Um, okay. So some of them, it could be a fiscal organization. Um, some of it could be, um, managing profit and loss and okay. you know how do i continue to help my business grow but uh, like i said so broad so, Perfect. yeah so broad so there there were so many that had so many questions it was <laughs> i was a little bit hesitant to to just narrow, you know, make, yeah. narrow it down and then you know these businesses couldn't receive some help um i awesome. i see some more questions in the chat it just uh, they're they're coming quickly i'll, I'll read them off to you brian can you Thank apply you to both a partnership and individual grant? Can you be a partnering business and a business that, that um, is selected for award? So no, we're gonna ask you to choose one or the other. So if you wanna be a, a, that, you fill out that one application, whether it's a startup business is five years or younger, or you can be that um, partnering business, partnering to help with HR consulting, fiscal consulting, or, or marketing consulting. Can I ask a question and, for Ed May Henry? How many grants mm -hmm. are you planning to award in each category? So it's up to 65 total. So it wouldn't be, um, it, each category wouldn't be determined. Okay. So it's 65 total, up, up to 65 total. Thank you. There's a couple questions to review the um, due date, the deadlines for the open and close of the application period. Great. So the application will open July 1. And the applications will close July 31st. So that the, and that's the for both the partnering of, and the business. That's correct. So both applications will have that July 1st open date and the July 31st, 31st close date. Um, I'll put the, the or, or Diana, if you can, if you can put the, the contact information for the business grows in Bucks. Um, that's great. And You'll be able to find the application 
on the Bucks County of Bucks website under workforce and economic development. And so we will look to um, communicate. We'll put out an additional flyer um, with the information once the July 1st date comes so people can apply. There's a question for businesses older than five years. Are there programs available for them? So um, this build business and books um, is not will not be able to assist those companies five years or older. Um, so this is just for the five years and younger. Um, as as I look to hopefully provide more grants or, or open this up, um, hopefully I'll be able to include additional companies in the future. Do you have recommendations maybe to reach out for any um, questions that business might have and see if we can help in any other uh, in any other capacity, not including this grant? So sure, I'll include my, uh, you know, the, the business grows in bucks email. I would say let's connect and really find out what you're looking for because there's such broad questions or broad categories. I'd like to get a, a, a deeper dive on what you're really looking for. And so I can help point you in the right direction whether it's one of our um, economic development partners assisting at the Bucks County IDA, uh, Industrial Development Authority, Redevelopment Authority, or tour, you know, visit Bucks County, um, Bucks County Economic Development Corporation. Um, we have probably Chambers of Commerce on here. Uh, we also probably have SCORE members on here as well. Um, I think that conversation, whether it's five or 10 minutes, would give me a good idea of uh, who might be a good contact or connection for you. Uh, another question came in, if we're chosen, will we have a list to choose who is the best fit? Will the partners be in a variety of businesses to be able to tailor to our needs? So um, from that partner application portal, they will provide the narrative and you, um, those startup businesses five years and younger, you will select who you'd like to partner with. So I wanted to make sure that you, you had some I'll fault some power here to empower your business to pick what partner will best fit right for your business. And you'll receive that through um, the, the narrative. Now, you'll have to read through each narrative, find out which one best, fit, best fits your business. And again, the contact information will be in there because I think it's important to have that good personality fit, again, amongst businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, a reminder in the chat that Startup Bucks is also a uh, resource for businesses as well. They're here. Sorry, sorry, Startup Bucks. <laughs> Mari, Mari's on. Thank you. I appreciate you jumping in and putting that in the chat. I think that, I think that's great. That uh, you know, as you're going through this, sometimes you you might miss one, but always appreciate people jumping in. That's it for the questions in the chat. But I I do still see hands raised. I just can't see names. Oh, it, Matt Zinman, I'm one of them. That's OK. Hi, Matt. Hi. Uh, thanks for doing this, guys. Um, a couple yeah. of questions uh, working backwards, one on timing. So you you have the application through July. Uh, naturally, this is a selection process. There's an award of funding. When would you see the businesses actually having the funds and being able to engage with the partners? And then the, the question, too, if I'm understanding correctly, you naturally have the companies that are applying for these funds, then you have the partner application, which in essence is almost becomes a directory of approved vendors for those who get the funds to use. Is that correct? So um, through that selection process, again, the, the businesses will select who they want to work with. And, and the timeline uh, that's in there is, you know, the, the application will be July 1 to July 31st. Um, each each will be reviewed on each, each application will be reviewed. Um, the partnering businesses will receive the funds. The startup businesses will receive the services. So um, uh, once- Okay, I had a glitch, which is why I asked that question. So thank no, you for I, clarifying. I, I'm thankful that people are, I mean, I think that shows interest as well, Matt. I'm glad that there's, you know, people on this, this call asking questions. I, I mean, I think it's great. It shows the investment in the Bucks County business community. Thank you. Thanks very much. Brian, this is Andrea. I do see some hands raised and I can assist with calling those out. Um, Denise, do you have an additional question or is that from last time? No, that was from last time. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay. Do we have a question from Judy? 
Yeah. Hi, Bri. It's Judy Doherty from the Greater Bucksmont Chamber. Thank Hi, you for doing this. Hi. Quick question. Do I complete the partnership application since I am considered a partner? Who completes that? So partnering businesses will complete that. And at, at that part of the form, Judy, that's where they'll name your chamber as where they're coming from. And do I have any further responsibility? What is my responsibility within this program? Because it, other than trying to market it to my members and let them know of its availability? So other than that, Judy, it'll be the partnering businesses that, that will just name you as the Chamber of Commerce where they're coming from. Okay. So, and if you want to continue to help you know, share, I, I would say, please continue to do so. So we help as many businesses as possible learn about what we're trying to do at, and build business and books. All right, thank you. Thanks, Judy. Lisa, did you have a question? Yes, hi everyone. Um, a lot of my questions were already answered in the last few minutes, but um, Brian, you had said that the maximum grant is $3,000, is that correct? That's correct. If the services that um, the new business is receiving exceed that, like their needs exceed that, is the partner organization, do they like donate services? Are they discounting services if they need in addition to that? How does that work? So the partnering business that receive the funds will only able will only be reimbursed up to $3,000. If they would like to donate, or provide additional services on top of that, um, I'm going to say I'm happy to encourage that, um, and, and you know, please feel free to do so. But uh, only up to three thousand dollars for each one. But again, as you're working with these small companies, there might be um, that business relationship where what you're doing and you know, what you're willing to provide, you know, through this grant. And again, just the monetary is up to three thousand. And then, does the partner business submit? the hours or the work for reimbursement. That's correct, right? Okay. That's correct. Yep. Got we'll, it. Um, once the, the partner business is, has been identified, um, we'll, we will work with the partner business to make sure um, the invoicing okay. is complete and they, they will be able to be reimbursed. Got it. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, do we have a question from Guy? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Okay, great. Uh, so um, on the application, glad to have a thousand characters to, to describe my business. Also interested in providing uh, a, an impact statement to say, this is why I'd like the services and this is the benefit that I would um, expect to receive of it. And then that would give you the opportunity to you know, do some feedback and say, um, hey, we met 50 out of 65 impact statements and sort of, you know, uh, give you credence to even expand the, the program even further. That's cool. Yeah, so um, right now it's that character limit, so I'm hopeful that you're, you're able to, to use that character limit to, to do so, um, only because, you know, we're, we're limited in how many, you know, it, again, as people mentioned, or as I'll say again, the window for application and the grant it, it isn't years, it, it's months. So I need to make sure to approve these, review them, um, and then as appropriate, uh, provide those connections and uh, partners to the startup businesses. But uh, Guy, I, I think the impact statement is certainly interesting. Thank you. Well, so I, I, I guess I'm asking to, you know, specifically ask the businesses for it as, as one of the criteria. Right. And, and, and thinking that that might also facilitate future matching. Right. So, for instance, if I need social media needs and there is no one in the uh, corral that does social media, it, it would be like, well, here's a grant for you, but we don't have someone to answer your need. And it would seem like a missed opportunity that it, someone else could make better use of, you know, who's on the team. Are you, uh, maybe, I'm trying to understand, is, are you a partnering business guy or are you a... a, a... Good question. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a startup. Uh, okay. You know, like 30, 45 days in, right? 
So right, that's I mean yeah. that that's cool. Congratulations and good luck. Um, but yeah, yeah I think you know in in that area, um, I would say you know do the best to describe your business and if you can provide some lines on the impact statement there, um, that 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 will give you the opportunity to do so. Okay. Is there a question from Justine? I just yes. Need- hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Good. Hi, Brian. Thanks for doing this. It's great. Yeah. Um, we would be a partnering business, and one of the questions that I have specifically about that is when and how. I, I think I'm getting the period of time is July 1st to July 31st for all parties, but how does the business actually make the decision or choose that that partnering? Um, company? Is it something on the application they have to um, identify there? I mean, they have a short window of opportunity really for doing kind of what I'll call the interview with a partnering business. So how do they connect with what they believe is going to be the best partnering business? So um, they will be provided, again, the narrative. Once so uh, I'll start from the beginning. Once they've been, been uh, identified as a business, one of these 65 businesses that will receive the grant, uh, I I will then or we will then provide the narrative under the category that where they're interested in receiving services, um, and then once they receive the narrative, uh, we will follow up within a couple days, um, within within a week to find out what business best suits best you know is the best partner for them. From okay. there, you'll you'll probably see an email between the partner and the startup business that you know this is this is the 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 business decide to select you as a partner, you know and the directions for moving forward with that. Okay. Within that email. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I got, I had one other question. What happens in the event that you don't have 65 applicants to receive this? What would happen with the grant funds if you didn't reach that number, which I would hope would by far exceed that number, but. Yeah. So I, I believe we had 151 people scheduled fit in this meeting. So, oh, um, which is, which is great. Uh, I don't think that answers your question yet. So I want to you know, do the best job I can to answer. Um, I'm hopeful that we get 65 businesses, obviously. Um, if we don't not if we do not get up to 65 businesses, uh, then I, I assume we will not expend all the grant funds. OK, so it doesn't go into another pool for another opportunity. It would just sit there. And would you continue to do this annually or is this a one time thing? Right now, it's scheduled just for, for this year. I, I think this is a called an innovative idea for how to build business in Bucks County. Um, okay. So right now, I'm, or, or I'll say we are looking to see what this looks like, hopeful, and I'm so glad all of you joined to and showed interest, and, and I'm hopeful to be able to do this again. But right now, it's just scheduled to the end of end of the year 2024, so it'll end December 31st, 2024. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks for your questions. Sure. Yeah. Next, do we have a question from Michael? Hey, Brian. Hey. Great presentation and thank you. Um, I think I've had some of my questions already answered. Is there any reason why a service provider, if they can support it in their narrative, be a service provider in all, say, I'll say all three domains for marketing? So, again, so HR the service, financial. you know, I'm sure uh, they start a business would like to partner with someone who best fits their needs. Um, it could be specific. So a marketing company, uh, you know, or a company looking for marketing might want to partner with just a marketing company. I, I, again, I don't know. It's going to be up to it ultimately be their decision. Um, but I would say this is a great chance for for professional partners to assist these small businesses um, so that with their area of expertise. So, Mike, are you also asking you can apply you a provider can apply for more than one? Uh, a partner agency can apply for more than one area of assistance. It would just be more than one application. Correct. Okay, very clear. And, and just to go back and clear <clears throat> for my edification, what Justine and I think Guy brought up, is there any criteria or pre, I, I was writing it down as pre-approval of the scope of work, either expressed by the startup in advance or the a proposal of some kind from the service provider to the organization that that outlines what's going to be done with the monies that are used, which kind of protects everybody in every which way, all three, the county, the the provider and the 
the recipient of the service so everybody knows. So I think that'll most likely be a conversation between the partnering business and the business um, in one of those 65 businesses that were selected because everyone's need is so different that, um, again, I don't I didn't want to uh, pigeonhole or, or tell a business what their need should be or what their need is. So I think it'll need to be a discussion uh, and maybe it'll be a quick discussion on what you're able to do, how you're able to do it. And, and again, I think that level of trust and expertise needs to come through that conversation. Thanks. Okay, and Cindy, you have your hand up. Hi, how are you? Thanks, Brian, for this. It's great. Um, it's great. Another question about like if so, if you have marketing and fiscal needs, and then you find two different partners that would best fit those particular needs, can you do that? Like, and the funds would be split between those two businesses, or do you, would you rather just stick with one that has the best need? It's just going to be you. Right, you'll you'll select select your greatest need, or select. I, I sometimes I call it your your greatest pain point. So you, you'll okay. pick you'll pick one and and go from there. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Cindy. There's a question from Valerie. Hi, Valerie. Hey, sorry, I had to get off mute. Um, but I had a quick question. Um, is there going to be a follow-up email after this um, Zoom call just to kind of give us like a reminder of like the application and things like that? Or do we need to go ahead and copy and paste from the, um, the chat, the application link? and just set our own reminder. I'm just trying to make sure I grab that before this meeting is over, if I need to have that in my personal notes now. So I'll, I'll always I'll say, make sure you set a per, a, a, your own reminder. Um, but okay. I do, we have all the email addresses and everyone that, that signed up, we look to put out additional wording. Um, and the, addition, the, the first flyer that came out was about the information session here. The next flyer or communication will come out will be about the application and a, a link to the application as well. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yep. But but again, make sure you do your, your personal reminder as well. Oh, just to make I sure you're covered. Personal, I will have a personal <laughs> reminder as well. I just wanted to know if I needed to copy that right now, which I did go ahead and copy it anyways uh, while you were talking. But yes, I'm excited uh, about the application and thank you again so much oh. for all of this opportunity. Great, thank you. Michelle, you have your hand up. Yes, thank you. Good morning. Hi, Brian. I'm Michelle. Um, so this is a question that is a follow up to Michael. Everything else was addressed, but going back to um, the scope of work, because if you're saying that there's a budget that goes to the partner for three thousand dollars, and um, we're going to have a discussion, and let's of course we all want everything to be great in the end, but um, if it's not documented, um, I come from a from a regulatory background, so the documentation is really important here. And as much as I may not be paying because I'm from the business side, if I mm -hmm. choose a partner, um, will we will they still be the partner still be required or mandated or whatever the word we want to use to outline exactly what the scope of services would be for us within this three thousand dollars? Because I can have many dreams um, and the world, but how would we would not know what $3,000 means for them, right? Um, and so will there still be some sort of requirement to have a quote unquote contract, fee for service, whatever it is, except it will be zero in this case because they're receiving the grant funds from you. Um, and I, I'm specifically asking again, going back to someone else's point about timeline, um, you know, to say, this is what we're going to give to you for this amount of scope of work by this amount, because they get paid in the end. But what if we don't get the services that we really wanted in the end? Um, that's, that's my, that's the reason I'm asking the question. No, I, I think it's a great question. Thank you for asking it. So, um, it'll probably be a, a follow-up once, once these 65 businesses have been, been identified, um, I will follow up with the businesses, each of these 65, talk about, you know, your, your partnering business, what you're looking to do. And uh, through that communication email between that partnering business and the business five years and younger, I look to include, you know, the, it, the selection of whether it's marketing, HR or fiscal, 
and then I, I should I, I would like to be able to include a word or two about you know what you you know what a company would like to see out of this um, being done. Now I, you're asking for a contract. The answer is I, I don't I don't see that as a contract. I see it as a, as an email with you know an outline of, of you know what you're looking to do. Which by definition is a contract. Anything that's worded, I'm fine as long as it's in writing. Um, you know that says specifies what is being promised to us. Yeah. Um, from and and I think you're right. And and I, I think you make a great point. And you know mm -hmm. I, I mentioned this a couple times, but it's so important to find that partnering business that you that you've connected with that you trust that, and it's not just for this project, but you might this might be someone a partner you work with going forward. And I, I think that's the whole. The whole reason I tried to put, you know, this ecosystems community together. So you, we find businesses in our own communities that we can work with, that we can build and grow with. So um, it kind of gives me that, that tr Brian, I want to trust this company. And I, I want to too, Michelle, you know, Michelle, I want to too. But I think it's important that we put, you know, uh, when I connect those, that email together, I'm, I'm hopeful that you've had at least one conversation. And so you, you know that you'll work well together. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the yeah. opportunity. There are a question from Laura. Uh, hi, Brian. Thank you for this information. Uh, I have a quick question about the partnering application. So where can we find the results of the partnering business? So the partner businesses, once, once yeah. they apply, they will be provided to those 65 businesses that have been selected. So um, for each individual category, so when I meet with the 65 businesses, um, if you, they selected um, uh, marketing consulting that they'd like to do, they'll receive the narrative from each um, of those partnering businesses in that um, marketing uh, category. So you, you'll, you'll receive it. And I, I'm testing that on the back end um, to make sure it goes right to you. And again, I wanted to um, state that just a reminder, these partnering businesses, your information will be shared with one of these 60, with with the 65 businesses um, so yes that, that that information will be shared through the narrative and contact information okay so follow up a question because you said that the startup uh, the application will be july 1st and deadline will be the 31st uh, when we can if we decided to apply for the individual one or partner one and so before we make an application, uh, all those information for the partner results will be available. So we can see whether we got them um, like a fit or not. So as of right now, no, that information will not be available uh, because I'll, you know, I'll, I'll still be going, we, we will <laughs> still be going through and, and finding out applicants and that application window will still be open. So once that application, session is closed then i'll be able to share that with those 65 businesses that have been selected to move forward oh so that we can start uh, apply the individual one and once we got uh, the information of a partnership then we can uh, we can do the second step uh, decided whether we will apply for the partnership or not is my understanding correct so, Laura, it's up to to your business what end they'd like to uh, what application they'd like to apply for, whether it's the startup business, um, five exactly. years and younger, or whether the partnership one. But mm -hmm. I, I mean, we'll have to wait till the um, application window is closed um, at the you know, and that'll be the last days, of July thirty first, to share that information with one of those sixty five businesses that will be selected. So we'll have to wait, you know, that from that full month to. To receive all of those partnership applications and then after that i'll be able to share that information with that business five years old and younger okay okay so we have to make a decision in the beginning whether we apply for the individual one or partnership one if right we and then that yeah. then we got those information Okay. Yeah, I think that's a great, great point, Laura, as well, that I, I wanted to hold that information session, you know, closer to the, you know, June here so people could get, get this information and kind of decide where they'd like to be, where they'd like to apply. And so when that uh, application comes out, they know where they, you know, they know what side they want to be on. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, really yep. appreciate yep. it. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.
I'm going to hop in because we have a couple of questions in the chat. Um, uh, the one question asks about where the partnering businesses identifies. Uh, sorry, all these areas, HR, marketing and fiscal are wide and broad. Where does the partnering business identify the scope within which they would provide services? So uh, they'll pick their broad category from the application. Then once they've been identified or, or that partnering business um, or that I'll say that sort of business contacts them, then they'll have a chance to kind of narrow the scope down and what they're looking for. So if it was, you know, me that had a, a startup business that I'm looking for uh, some marketing help. I know that I would need some help in, in the social media world. So then I would narrow my scope down to social. You know, I need help social media wise, whether it's creating content or creating the actual, you know, social media platform, you know, um, username on the platform. It'll be up, up to that business five years and younger to help. I'll say narrow that gap in, in that broad scope of, of categories. And that would be within kind of the word limit where they can say what they are experts and how they can provide the assistance. Yep. After and the check box, we'll check the box and then do the. That's correct. The narrative part. OK, Diana, I don't know if you got a chance to introduce yourself. Did you want to inter introduce yourself? Sure. Diana Crowley, Assistant Director of Workforce and Economic Development with the County of Bucks. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, today, Thanks, I'm Brian's assistant, though. <laughs> uh, we have a couple more questions. Um, is the grant focused on services done for the business or for the consultant to teach the business how to do something? So the idea of fish for them or teach them how to fish, which love the way you worded it, Jennifer. So uh, the grant is to provide the services, and this is where it's going to be when you talk to that um, business five years and younger about the needs that they have, what they're looking to receive with these funds. Um, I'm hopeful that each of these 65 businesses that is awarded the funds will be able to walk away with both something that, you know, a tangible item that they can use now, but also something they can use in the future, you know, or planning, you know, planning they can use for the future. It's things that knowledge that they've gained through working with this partnering businesses that they can use and continue, continue to grow. And one last chest, uh, question in the chat for now, what are examples of fiscal partners? So a fiscal partner can be someone from, uh, I'll, I'll call it just now, a fiscal agency that can help with um, organization of your business um, meeting. You know, are you keeping all of your, your books on Excel? Do you use uh, a different platform? Do you keep any platform? Is it handwritten? Um, what does your business look like in terms of, uh, you know, are they being fiscally responsible? You know, fiscally responsible, meaning, you know, do you know if you're um, making a profit? Um, do you know how your business is doing fiscally? I think sometimes, you know, and I'm not speaking for anybody on the call, but for sometimes when these businesses start up, uh, it's so exciting. Uh, money's coming in, money's going out. Do you know? Do you know how you're doing? Are you are you organized? Um, do you have a plan moving forward each each year? Um, and maybe some of that could be helpful. When you're being so possibly with, uh, like account accounting firms account, or accounting account. groups or someone that yep. can um, help in business financial planning. Correct. Financial planning, accounting firms, I think would be, I mean, I, I wouldn't say good partners, but again, depending on the, on the right. need, but yes, not, not limited to. <laughs> right. Thank um, you, Diana. Yes. And, and I'll just sneak this one last question in that came in the chat. Besides being younger, <clears throat> excuse me, than five years, is there anything else that makes a business more eligible or more likely to receive the grant? I'll just add that you have to be in Bucks County. Just reiterate that one so nobody wastes their time. <laughs> yes. So it needs. To, yes. Thank you. So it needs to be a Bucks County business with your, you know, your Bucks County address in there. And priority of service will be for veteran owned, woman owned, minority owned businesses. And after that, it's based on application, uh, uh, first come, first serve. Correct? correct. After that, all these all these applications will be time stamped, and that'll be first come, first serve. That's it for the chat right now. Great. Hey, we do have Thanks. one more hand raised. Okay. Guy, would you, you like to ask your question? Yeah, that's me again. Yeah. So, uh, you know, first an observation. I am really impressed with the questions that are coming through 
And uh, those questions have even helped me learn stuff already. So thank you uh, for That's that. Uh, secondly, you know, given that there will be hopefully 65 businesses that are now, you know, uh, recipients of the grant, will there be an opportunity to um, connect between these 65 recipients with each other and hopefully help one another's business? Because if I can, you know, yeah. help one of the that's, 65, I would be very keen. That, that's an interesting uh, uh, idea, Guy. And I think that's, you know, when we talk about, you know, when Diana's on the call as well, like what are our next steps? I think we have next steps internally that we want to hit and we want to connect with. So I think that that's certainly something that we'd highlight and, and and bullet of, you know, hey, is this something we want to do? Is everyone interested in that? Or is that just certain businesses or who would be interested in that? Thank I think you. that's a, I'm just going to jump in. I think it's a great question. Maybe it's something uh, when the, when the um, businesses are selected, there's a question, you know, would you like your information to be shared with, or would you not like it? Um, yeah. We love connecting folks. So what a, yeah. what a wonderful idea. Thank you. And Guy, I agree. Great questions today from the group. I, I didn't know what, you know, when you do this, you never know what's going to be asked. If you give a chance for people to ask questions, sometimes you just stare at the screen and you're like, did I bore everyone or does no one have any questions? So, I, I mean, I love this interaction. I think this is great. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's, is that, is, is that it for the questions? That's all for the chat. I don't see okay. a hand raised, but um, I'll defer to uh, Andrea. I, if she spots anybody else I'm not seeing. At the moment, there are no other hands raised. OK, well, I, I want to thank everyone for joining today, asking your questions and joining just to learn more about the Business Grows and Bucks Great Grant. Um, you know, we, we on the Workforce and Economic Development Department are certainly excited about this initiative. So again, thank you from all of us. Commissioner Harvey, did you want to jump in with with anything else? No, no, thank you. You guys did a great job. And I agree. The questions were really, uh, really, you know, the kind of questions that help our staff do their job better and, and really kind of formulate this program. So thank you so much for your help and your willingness to be part of this program. Yeah, great. Thanks, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day. Okay, take care. Have a great day.